Reproductive justice isn't just about access to healthcare. It's about power, control, and surveillance. Today, police and government agencies have unprecedented access to surveillance tools, which they can use to enforce abortion bans and target vulnerable communities. At the southern border, immigrants in detention centers face the harsh realities of the surveillance. Pregnant people are subjected to control not only of their movements, but their bodies, often denied reproductive care or forced into making decisions under state surveillance. In Texas, abortion law intersects with policing. Under the state's restrictive abortion ban, private citizens are empowered to act as enforcers, suing anyone who aids and abets an abortion. This civilian enforcement clause draws a chilling comparison to the Fugitive Slaves Act of 1850, where the state power was delegated to private citizens to capture runaway slaves. This isn't just a matter of policing reproductive rights, it's about expanding state surveillance over our bodies, with access to digital tools, private data, and even location tracking. Police can now monitor and target those seeking or assisting in abortions. The fight for reproductive justice is deeply intertwined with the fight against surveillance. The question isn't just about access to abortion, it's about who controls your body, your choices, and your future. Reproductive justice means fighting for freedom from control, policing, and the tools of surveillance.